Hello, today I want to share with you a tip from Logos Bible Software on how to connect your Logos material with your personal notes, whether it's notes for a class that you're taking as a student or a sermon outline or a Bible class outline. You can create hyperlinks from Logos material straight into your notes. Uh, and it's a very powerful way to get back to material you found and studied or a way to connect you to deeper studies as you move along. I have logos running here. I'm, I'm open to Mark chapter 1, verse 1, but I also have a pages document open here. And you'll notice that uh, studying Mark 1, 1, there are a number of hyperlinks. You can tell they're blue and underlined uh, in the text of my notes that I've just taken in my word processing program. I use pages. You can use Microsoft Word or anything else. But you'll notice here in chapter 1, verse 1, this word gospel is a link. And if I click on it and say open link, it opens Logos and it opens to a topic guide on the word gospel, on the topic gospel. And then I have access to all of these encyclopedia and dictionary articles on gospel. I have a connection to all these related verses, the biblical events, all kinds of material uh, that I can connect to through the topic guide for gospel. And all I have to do is create the link and uh, put it in my notes. If you've noticed, I also have a quotation here that I found that I really liked about the word gospel and, and where it comes from. And you'll note that I put Martin 529. Now I can guarantee you that six months from now when I teach this material again, I don't remember where Martin is, what resource Martin was from. But since I created a hyperlink, all I have to do is click on it, say open link, and you'll notice that it opens the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia to the exact page with the quotation from Martin so that I can do further study or remember where I got it from. If I'm writing an article later on, I can cite the source properly or, or do whatever I need to do to study that more. And I've always got that hyperlink built right into my document. You notice uh, you can connect to all kinds of things. We've connected uh, to a couple of guides and reports. You can also connect it to searches. Uh, in this particular paragraph, I mentioned that the word gospel is used eight times in the book. Well, where are those eight times? Well, if I click on that and say open link, it automatically does a search for the Greek word gospel in Mark and shows me those eight occurrences and I can see where they are. I can see the context uh, of those uh, uses of that word right there. And I didn't have to recreate the search. It's just built right in. Basically, it's kind of saved within that hyperlink that I that I created and put it in into my notes. Um, as I scroll down here, you'll notice uh, I at one point I'm talking about Caesar Augustus and mentioning a silver denarius. If I click on that and say open link, I can open to a, a topic guide on a denarius, which is going to connect me to all kinds of materials, including images and that kind of thing. I also had put in my notes a hyperlink to an actual image. And if I open the image, it'll take just a second for it to load. There is an image of a silver denarius that I could copy and paste into a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation uh, as part of my Bible class notes. So I don't. The the point is that when you find these things, you can create these shortcuts to them, these hyperlinks, and you don't have to go through the hassle of doing the search all over again. You can just put them right in. You can also connect them through to verses if you want. For example, in chapter 1, verse 2 of the Gospel of Mark, I mentioned the connections to Isaiah 40, verse 3, uh, Isaiah 42, verse 1, and Isaiah 52, verse 7, and I made hyperlinks to those. So if I click on 40, verse 3, and say open the link, it opens my Bible to Isaiah 40, verse 3, and so on. So you get the idea. You can build these hyperlinks uh, any way you want, and you can... Uh, Put them into your notes directly. Now, the cool part about this is Logos does not have to be running for this to work. For example, uh, if I go ahead and quit Logos completely, Logos is no longer running on my computer, and I click this hyperlink to Isaiah 40, verse 3, open the link. It's going to take just a second, but it's actually going to launch Logos for me. Start it from scratch my little startup chime and open it to Isaiah 40 verse 3. Uh, so very powerful way 
to connect you back into your Logos material. But how do we do this? Well, actually, it's very simple. It's just using a command called copy location as. And if I go back up here uh, to Mark chapter 1, verse 1, I'm in my notes. Uh, I want to connect that to Mark chapter 1, verse 1. So if I go to Logos and I take my Bible to Mark 1, 1, not Mark 2, 2, Mark... One, one. Now, in the resource panel menu, in your resource panel menu are these three dots in the upper right-hand corner of, of any resource panel. You'll notice down about three-quarters of the way down, it says copy location as, and you've got some choices. You've got URL, you've got HTML, L4, Wiki, RL. Well, what are all these choices? I don't, I don't know what to do with that. URL, HTML, L4, Wiki, RL. What, what are those different kinds of locations? Well, I could just tell you, but it, I'm going to give you a tip inside a tip. And that is the Logos Bible Software Help menu. And the help system is extremely elaborate. It's in the resource menu at the top of the software. It's another three-dot menu. And you'll notice you have Logos Bible Software Help. And if I open the help system, and if I just do a search for copy location... as I can then open the article on copy location as and notice it gives me an explanation of what these different uh, locations hyperlink types are the first one is a URL it is an address suitable for inputting as a hyperlink target in a word processing document email message. Well, that sounds good. That sounds like what I'm after. I can copy it as HTML, which is fully formatted for a website. Well, I'm not pasting into a website, so I don't need HTML. L4 is a link that opens Logos Bible software directly without requiring an internet connection. May not work in some applications. That's really the one that we want. Copying a URL uh, the first option it requires an internet connection to work. If your our computer or your iPad or your phone is not connected to the internet, those URL links won't get you back to Logos. But L4 will. L4 will always launch Logos on your particular device and open to that particular resource. So L4 is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and close these help menus. But you can see how powerful the help system is. It really gives you all the detail that you might need. And now I go back to the resource panel menu and I click on L4. And what it did was it copied a strange little code to my clipboard. Now if I go back to pages and I just select this text that says 1 colon 1. That's Mark 1 1. In pages, and it's different depending on uh, your word processing software, if you use Microsoft Word or some other software, it's going to be a little bit different. I can do insert uh, in pages. And if I scroll down to format, I can say add link. And I can add a web page link. I can just paste that in and say OK. And you'll notice when I clicked on open the link, it worked. Now to prove it, I'm going to close my New American Standard Bible panel. I'm going to go back to pages. And now if I click on this hyperlink and say open link, it opens my New American Standard to Mark 1.1. So that simply, you can copy a link and you can paste it in. Uh, let's look at another example. We'll just do one more real quick to give you the idea. Uh, but here I'm studying the word gospel in, in Mark 1.1, 1, 1, and I get to this word gospel. Well, why not create a topic guide for the word gospel, uh, like I did before, and, and paste it in here? So I, I'm going to go ahead. I, I created this before, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this topic guide on gospel. I'm going to go to copy location as L4. I'm going to now close that copy, that topic guide, and now I can select some text, topic guide, 
going to tell myself that this is a link to a topic guide. Select the text. Command K is another way to do that instead of going up to your menus. That's pretty standard in most software. Then just paste in the link, click away, and now you'll notice that I've got a hyperlink there. And when I click open the topic guide, open the link, it launches the topic guide. So wherever you are in the logo software, if you just copy the location as, remember to use L4. If you use L4, it always will open even if you don't have an internet connection. And you can embed these links throughout your documents, whether it's for a sermon outline uh, or a Bible class material, or even just your study notes on a particular topic or on a particular passage. Uh, you can embed these links these hyperlinks back into your logo software and it can really be beneficial.